So what we're going to do here now is look at some of the single note ideas that we can sort of combine and mix into uh, you know, in with the rhythm playing. So some of the single note ideas are simply uh, because of the tuning of the, the way we have the slow D string. What we can do is we can concentrate on uh, the D note on the A string. Uh, and it's at the 5th fret and a lot of these notes are going to fall on the 5th or 3rd fret and the 7th fret which are pretty good because that's where our dots are, the dot markers. 3, 5 and 7, so that's really good, really useful and handy to use. So, there's a note I might use, 5, 3, go down to my D, uh, the low D string, 5, 3, not. so from not, 3, 5, 3, 5, and go to the D string, 3, 5, 7, to the G, 5, 7, so this, Gives me some of the notes that I can just kind of uh, do hammer-ons and pull-offs. Alright. So, some of the ideas what we're doing there is we're doing little pull-offs to the open strings. And there, uh, we're simply playing the, the D string, fret 3. Doing a pull-off. Then going to a lower string, just the, the adjacent string, but lower. Play on fret 5 and then we open D string again. Might do that same, uh, basically, same technique on the A and, and the well, it's now low D string. And at any time, I can pull off to the open string to the D or the G. that uh, I'm using basically uh, the pick and the pick is sort of pick, going to pick and down and we'll have the middle finger, finger pulling up so they're sort of working against each other in opposite directions so even just getting that there okay, it's pretty useful just just to practice that idea which I threw in on that other video was this little this little kind of bend push idea where I'm on the E string first uh, first string fifth fret and on the B string fret six and I bend the note on the B string slightly so we have that little rock and roll type bend I just work down that scale, which is from the D to the D is called a pentatonic minor scale in the key of D. So if you use that in conjunction with our our rhythms, like let's just show you that now. bring in this little uh, 9 chord, a little bluesy chord of D9 and the finger for that uh, from the A string is frets 5, 4, 5, 5 and we'll hit a low D with that and again we'll slide that from a semitone below or above and add a little interest to the chord as well uh, the other thing I was doing there when I was playing that little, that kind of little twist or bluesy or bendy lick, I was strumming the chord and I've been asked about that as well. And simply what I do is when I'm strumming, it takes a bit of time to practice this and get this happening, but you know, for a bit of patience and working at it, you can get it okay. What you do is, whatever the movement is, or wherever the, the action is actually happening on the guitar, you just make sure that when you're strumming, that you, you accent or pick that out. 
So when you do it slow, it doesn't maybe sound 100%, uh, you know, as, as good. But, and what I'm doing is I'm keeping that strumming going. So you can even practice just keeping that strumming going initially. tune of the guitar allows you to you know strum a lot of strings so uh, just work at that so if you just combine all those elements the the single note ideas the, the hammer on and uh, just the little chord voices and then you put it all together and then the beauty about it is you just uh, chop it and change it to suit yourself and hopefully you come up with some uh, interesting ideas for your own playing. Okay what we're going to do is just uh, briefly talk about the gear I'm using and uh, the settings. Uh, instead of explaining the preamp settings on the guitar uh, what we'll do is we'll just uh, we've, we've sort of cap captured that image for you and you can have a look at that for yourself. Um, one of the things I would say, uh, a, a little trick of mine or a little flavor of mine is I don't turn the volume right up full when I'm putting it out for free anything. It doesn't matter if it's through my amp or a PA. I actually prefer the sound of it when that's just not, uh, you know, not up 100%, you know, so that's a wee pet thing of mine. Whether it makes any difference or not, probably I don't know, but I just feel it sounds to me a bit, bit cleaner. Um, I'm using a, uh, a Unico um, amplifier, acoustic amp, but if I don't use a PA that's the amp I use and it's a great amp. Okay. Um, the guitar is a Court uh, th uh, 370, PW370. Uh, it's a guitar I've been using for uh, since it came out and it's a great guitar, I really like it and it's my number one go-to guitar for any acoustic work. Uh, it just feels has a great knack on it. The strings are Dunlop uh, 12 gauge. It's like the, the balance of 12s because I'm playing standard tuning most of the time. I just think 12s are a nice happy medium from playing um, sort of uh, little ideas or just strumming to give you a nice balance between you know the, the body of the nice full sound. Uh, but they're still light enough to, to play some single note stuff. The only other thing I've been asked about is the, uh, this little body here is the pick what I do is I hold the pick very, very close, extremely close, um, and I probably hold the pick probably wrong compared to how it's meant to be or whatever. But the the how I, how I tend to think of, about it is if you were holding the pen, um, what I do is I tend to take the pick, uh, and it's almost like I was, almost like if I'm going to be writing a letter or whatever. That's how I, how I hold the pick, but I hold it very close. And what this does. This means there's no flex in it. They're like uh, 1.4 mil. But it allows me to uh, get that strumming going where I can go up and down, you know, uh, and the pick doesn't give. The, it's the strings that move, basically. So, um, you know, that's a, a really important thing for that rhythm, I think, is just use a good heavy pick. Uh, so uh, basically that's my gear. <laughs>